Prison is a big eye opener for a lot of criminals and, and gang members, but a lot of gang members are mostly gang members. A lot of them turn to God on the max yards, but a lot of them forget about him on the low security yards. It's the, the difference between pretty much the battlefield and like the rec yard. But most organization, whether they're max or low, really don't don't allow the whole you know, God change walk. You have the battlefield and the rec yard. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, uh, got my bread right. Yeah. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The right. old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suicide on the board one, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong and Strong. All in your name, all in your glory. Thank you Jesus for what you've done on the cross in my life, in me and through me. Most organizations really don't push the, the God walk. I mean, let's be, let's be real. They, they need to show numbers, bodies. They need to show numbers on the rec yard, in chow. I mean, even on, on church on Sundays, you know, everybody goes to church. So numbers have to be shown. To control organizations, it's a very dark, dark world of it's not like the guy holding the keys to the yard is gonna come up to tell you, uh, hey, let's go find Jesus every day while we're here. You know what I mean? While we're doing these, these 30, 50 years, let's, let's go find Jesus. Nope, not happening. Today that I walk with Jesus and I can remember all the brothers that I met in those very dark areas and prisons and yards that I had been, been to, it even gives me more faith because now I can remember and know how great God is and what he was doing in their lives in these in these yards, in these prisons, how these brothers were just pretty much going against the grain of this world and just walking the walk, being a follower of Christ. I don't know why I didn't see it back then, but today I can remember these brothers and it's just, they were the real deal and they were on fire for Jesus on these prison yards where most everybody made fun of them. Made fun of them and sometimes they didn't even have nowhere to sit. They had to wait till everybody finished eating. Man, to remember that and to see that, what God can do and these very dark places. I mean, look at Cook County Jail. Back in the day had a special deck for Christians. If you wanted to go there, they had to do like a whole investigation on you to see if you had hits on you or if you had hits on anybody and just pretty much, they, just not anybody could go there. I ended up getting moved there. Point blank, organizations do not like to push the religion because it takes from their numbers. If you get to a yard and they have a lot of numbers, then they do let a lot of their guys go into full-time ministry and all that because it actually tricks the young guys coming in 
that they're very, very structured. You know, we have guys that are like brothers over here. We got guys that are causing trouble. You know what I mean? It just shows, it shows a young fish. And then you get to some yards where most of the organizations are, are Christian brothers and, and God is just working like tremendously on some yards. But point blank, organizations really don't push it. So for the guys getting ready to go in, seek God, no matter what. Here, there, seek Him. For the guys getting out, get closer to God because now the real test comes. For the guys that have been out and still feel empty, still don't know whether they like to be in there or out here, find, find God so you can find that peace you've been searching for your whole life. I, I share my stories now because I, I feel that my, my stories were supposed to always have a purpose. I mean, now that I walk with God, I know what that purpose is, but I, I share it because like, you don't know, like it causes so much emotions in me to share this with you guys because I don't wanna see no one go through what I went through and feel the way that I felt my whole life and just, you know, going into prison, being afraid, being in there and, and losing myself, then coming out and then being afraid again and then being out for a minute and wondering if I was better inside and, and, and it was all the emptiness of the life that we lived and, and just complete sin. That's why I was saying on my last video that I understand now the fruits of the spirit, how it, it starts to change you and you start to talk different, you have self-control, you, you start to look at life through Jesus and it, it's priceless. It's priceless. So that's why I'm just trying to show you what was given to me for free. That's it, guys. Find him no matter what. Because if the sun sets you free, free you are. My name is JC. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for him. Money back guaranteed.